Yeah. Michael. It's like Jackson. a little jet pack for uh, <laughs> Michael scuba Jackson. tanks for a cat. Mm hmm. That's exactly what it is, Jeffrey. I thought it was, I thought someone found it in a field over in Virginia near that rocket crash site. <laughs> Some kind of rocket part. I don't know. It's very mysterious. What do you think this mystery object is? Is it A, nitrous bottles from a dragster? B, parts from a rocket or aircraft? C, Steve Trap floats? D, my dad can beat up your dad? Or E, quizzes on videos are just kind of dumb. Vote now. Let's shoot it. Maybe it's full of hydrazine. Do it. Dan will be using a fully semi-automatic AL-15 rifle. Oh, it blew up. Actually, the entire point of this video is to show you hydrostatic shock. When a high-velocity bullet strikes a container full of a liquid, it kind of acts like a piston without a cylinder. It displaces the water with so much force it rips the container in half and bulges the ends out. Stop at Russian. <laughs> it's like they're rockets. When Darren shot the other one, which was just full of air, nothing really happened. The bullet just went through it and out the other side. Since your body is made up of a lot of liquid, this hydrostatic shock can really have a tremendous effect on your body if you were shot. Which caliber is that? 30-30. 30-30 bush gun. <laughs> it's the ball. He's <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> now this stainless steel ball was about 80% full of water. And you can see how it also bulged outwards when the bullet struck near the bottom of it. And because of the bullet placement, it just shot it upwards. Look at that, left a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a nip. <laughs> It blew that thing out. That's hydro shock. It smells like good boiler chemistry in there, I'll tell you that. That's some good chemistry. Sweet. Does that smell like hydrazine to you? <laughs> oh, look at that. Ripped it at the weld. <coughs> Got some on my hand. I better wash it. Got a wet, wet nap? <laughs>